What's up everyone, Terraquake here, back with my Pokemon Pearl walkthrough. In the last episode, we explored under the cycling road, and we made it through Route 207, taking on some trainers, especially this guy right here, that that he was very funny. And anyways, now we can head into Mount Coral Net. Um, right now, nothing much you can do here, there's just, there's just one um, thing that happens in here, but it's a straight path. You don't have surf yet, so don't really worry about trying to get across... The, uh, that um, little pond or lake right there, whatever. Not many new Pokemon. I don't think there's any new Pokemon really you can find. I mean, Geodude, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Geodude we've seen um, throughout the whole game. And let's see, there's got to be a hidden item right there, I would think. Well, however, we can't get that hidden item yet because we meet this guy who has blue hair. And he seems kind of sketchy, you know. What he, what is he doing hanging out in a remote place like Mount Coronet? According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. Well, yeah, I could believe that. I mean, it's a giant mountain in a newly created world. A world where only, one t only time flowed and space expanded. Well, this guy's pretty sketchy. He's going on about the world and um, some weird things. And then he just leaves... So, you know, we'll be seeing that guy later. Most of you guys probably already know who that is, but, um, you know. Anyways, I guess there's no hidden item in that rock. There's, of course, a wild battle, and I probably should have just, like, rock smashed my way through. That's a little shortcut right there, but whatever. We might as well show you guys that there's nothing to do up here, so why did I even go up here? I don't even know. Sometimes I don't even know. What I'm doing when I make some decisions. Can we make it to the exit though? That'd be nice. Oh, let's go. So, here we are outside. Not at the new city yet. This is Route 208. And there's a couple more trainers we can fight here. And we'll go ahead and start with this hiker. It's a pretty short route. Um, Just a couple of trainers to battle. And then you'll make it to the next city, which is a pretty big city. However, it will not even have the next gym. The next gym is, you know, past that city. So... Yeah, still a while to go, and great, I've got freaking Shield on out. Oh, Shield on just does not have, I need him to get a ground type move, but I'm assuming I'm going to have to teach him one, and I don't really think, um, I don't really think we have a ground type TM yet, and I don't really know where you get one, so I'll just go and cut this out. Yeah, literally that hiker just had two Geodudes, nothing you miss there, just easy experience points for Grottle. Hiker Robert, at least you were much better and much easier than the last hiker. Now, I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. We're past that dude. And, ooh, we got Black Belt over here. Great, he's probably going to have a fighting type, and it's not even going to be good for my Shield On, because Shield On is four times weak to fighting and ground. Shield On sort of has a lot of weaknesses, but it's all good. Machop, I don't know, should we just risk it? Try to take down... Um, Nah, I don't really want to. Nah, no, 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 no. We'll switch. We'll switch. Let's see. What what would have uh, Machop used here? Let's see. Oh, well, we're going to get the Intimidate off first, so I guess that's nice. And, oh, you would have used Foresight. Man, I probably could have attacked. I could have used Takedown, but that would have done Recoil, so, you know, I was probably better off um, switching out anyways. Uh, Grotto is actually above my, or higher level than Staravia and Shield on. Um, so, you know, I really need to get Shield on up there. He's only level 24, even though he's only one level off of Staravia. So what am I even saying? I don't know, bruh. Anyways, there's um, a part you can't get to. That item, or that part up there, you can't get to until you have the HM for Rock Climb. And then you can't get down here in this water until you get Surf, so, you know. Nothing you can do about that one. You'll see that fisherman down there. Can't find him until then. And then we have one hiker. And there's some grass down there. Um, there will be some more trainers there. And, uh, yeah. It will... Then we'll be in the next city. So, let's see. What do you have, hiker Jonathan? And Onyx? Bruh! Please. Just get, get like, a... Get, like, a B-doof like that one random hiker had back on Route 205 or whatever that was. That would be nice for my shield on. Not all these like rock and ground types that I can't do anything against. Especially with my horrible attacking stat. So yeah, shield on I guess having a rough time right now. But trust me, he will not be bad in the long run. I hope not. I've never used this guy. So 
I'm trying to use him, trying to, you know, prove that he's a playable Pokemon, even though he only has good defense stats. But anyways, Grotto is going to take out this Onix, because Grotto is basically the leader of this team. I wouldn't say he's really putting the team on his back, but he's getting that way. However, the next gym, though, is a fighting type gym, so you know Staravia is coming in. You know he is. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he says we are starved for food. Wait, what? You've been out here for days without, like, a house or something? Uh, if you have Rock Smash right here, you can hop down and grab this item. So, let's, let me go ahead and do that. Bam. Pokeball. That was definitely worth it. And, let's see. Now, we got some grass over here. I'm pretty sure there's an item we can grab all the way down here, maybe. It's also a wild battle because, you know, those are always nice. Oh, Psyduck. I think we've seen this guy in a trainer battle, but not in the wild. I guess you can find him here if you're looking for a cool water type. Psyduck's a, a nice one to grab. Of course, kind of stinks that when he evolves into Golduck he, Golduck, he doesn't get the part Psychic Typing, but he still learns some Psychic Type moves. Anyways, right there, just some honey. Convenient, because it's right next to a honey tree. And we've got a black belt down here that will actually not fight you. <laughs> He's kind of funny, though. Here we go. Don't say a word. Just take it. And we get the odd keystone. Now, what this will do on the next route over, Route 209, there's a thing. I don't know what. I don't even know what it's called, but you can use the odd keystone. And it won't. I think you've got to, like, beat the game or something. I don't know. But you can get. Basically, this will allow you to get Spirit Tomb. But not, like. Not, uh. Right now. So, yeah. I think we've got this guy to fight. And then that aroma lady up there. And this is. This guy's kind of weird. He's a. I want to see a freaking painter or something like that. Artist William. Mime Jr. Ah, this is where you start to see baby Pokemon. Baby Pokemon can sort of be annoying just because, like, it seems every trainer that has a baby Pokemon on their team has, uh, like, five of them or something. And the battles are just so long. But at least it's something Shieldon can handle. So I will take it. I'll definitely take it. Uh, yeah, Rock Tomb came and take it out one hit. They're not too hard to take out. Um, literally, they don't have good stats at all. But, yeah, you will start to see more baby Pokemon coming up. Like, um, this battle right here sort of hints what's coming up on the next route. Because there are a lot of baby Pokemon on the next route. And baby Pokemon are sort of Pokemon that, um, what, I don't know. What's the rule for the? Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have stayed in. Oops. But there's Bonzi, by the way. Baby Pokemon, what's the rule for them? I don't really know, but, you know... If you've played Pokemon, you probably know all the baby Pokemon. Right here, Mime Jr. and Bonsly, you know. Uh, Bonsly evolves into Sudowoodo. It's a rock type. Mime Jr. evolves into Mr. Mime. It's a psychic type. So, yeah. That's why I switched out to Grottle. Even though when I first played Pokemon for, like, not even... I remember in uh, Heart Gold was my very first game. And I got to the Sudowoodo, the, you know, where you had to use the little spray can or whatever. What's it called? The... the I don't even know, a little watering thing, and to battle it, and I kept on trying to use, um, like, uh, a fire, or, like, my Pidgeotto, I think, or something like that, because, um, I thought it was grass type, and I was like, bro, why am I not doing any damage, and then, of course, I realized that it's a rock type, and I didn't realize that until, like, the th third time I played a Pokemon game, or my third game, whatever that was, oh, here's Combi. We haven't seen this Pokemon either. Okay, so some new Pokemon that we're seeing on this route. Uh, pretty nice. It's a bug flying type. Shield on. If you don't take this thing out in one hit, I'm sorry, buddy. But you, you, uh, you are definitely going to need some work or something. And dang, Gust had a critical hit there. Still did one hit point. But yeah, bug flying type four times weak to rock. So, Shield on, you better take this thing out. Oh, alright. I knew he could do it. He wasn't going to let that one get away. So, anyways, yeah, Combi uh, evolves into Vespa Queen. Only if it's a female, though, which is kind of annoying. Which, it can actually be pretty hard to get a female one because you can only find them on honey trees. And, like, you know, you've got to take the percentage of finding a Combi in the first place. And then you just got to hope that it's a male. Oh, thank goodness Stun Spore missed. That would have been pretty annoying. Oh, but of course, you know... Pokemon Pearl just had to return the favor and make me miss. And now you're going to leech seed me. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. This this one, this battle right here against this Roselia. 
could be pretty annoying. Oh, whoa. Okay, never mind. We got a critical hit. I'll take it. That was a much needed critical hit right there. And we got to level 25. Nice. Any new moves? No. We have not learned a single new move since level 20. I mean, it's only been five levels, but still. Only five levels away from evolving, I guess. That's what we can look forward to. Um, I'll go and switch Star Raven to the up front. And there's a house right here that I will take a look in after I pick these berries. Alright, right here we have the Berry Master's house. And, um, yeah, we'll go and head on inside. I'm pretty sure this is a dude right here. Everyone seems to call me the Berry Master. Hand out berries daily. So, yeah, you can come back here every day. Obviously, that's what daily means. And he'll give you, like, a random berry or something. So, that's pretty nice. And then... Let's see, some mulch. Yeah, you can buy mulch here. It'll help, like, your berries grow. But I'm kind of bad to the uh, environment. So, uh, I don't regrow the berries. <laughs> but anyways, this little girl right here. I don't know how she has this app for the Poketch. But it's the Berry Searcher. It'll help you find berries. Like, if you plant berries um, around the map, you can go to it. And it'll locate when the... Or it'll tell you when the berries are done growing. So, that can be pretty convenient. Anyways, we're done with Route 208, and then next time, we'll be heading into Heart Home City, a pretty big city, and we'll be exploring around. For now, though, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.